Welcome to Microprocessor and Interfacing Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to solve gate examples on microprocessor programming. So these are the questions which was there in previous year gate examination. And to minimize your learning time period, I have made my application engineering funda. You just download all those material which I am teaching here from my application. So it will take less time to revise it and you can directly see what are the questions which is what I am teaching here. So it will take less time to take questions notes as well as answer notes uh, from my application and here directly you can have revision. So see we have a question like the following instructions have been executed by 8085. So these are the instructions from which address the next instruction will be fetch. So we are dealing with to calculate after execution of PCHL this instruction what will be next address where we can fetch instruction. So let us see what is happening step by step first. So see if you execute LXIH 8A79 then HL pair that will get loaded by 8A79. So after execution of this HL pair that is 8A79 hex. So where H is this and L that is 79. Now if you have move operation so L will get transferred into A. So now accumulator that will be actually L and L over here that is 79. Then there is addition. So add H means now new A that is previous A plus H. And then we perform this D double A. So this D double A that is to adjust decimal of previous instruction which is addition instruction. So see first of all DAA that we should be using after addition instruction only. So this is the condition like DAA that should be utilized after addition. So before that there is addition. Whatever addition is there we need to settle that in decimal and for that we execute this. So this is to translate addition in decimal. So decimal addition. We will do that so it will be more clear. Now see after decimal addition this A that will get loaded into H. So now H is equals to A. And then this HL, PCHL means program counter that will be HL pair. So that many things are happening inside. Now let us solve this step by step so we can understand what is HL and that is what program counter. So see here as I have told LXIH comma 8A79. So HL is equals to 8A79 where L that is 79 which is what we are moving into A. So A is equals to 79. Now we will be doing addition. So A is equals to A plus H and that is what we will be adjusting into decimal. So we need to do this addition bit by bit. So A that is 79 and H that is 8A. So let us write this in bits. So 7 means 0, 3, 1, 9 means 1, double zero, 1. And 8 means 1, triple 0 and A means 1, 0, 1, 0. Now let us have this addition first. So 1 into Z, 1 plus 0. So that is 1, 0 plus 1 that is 1, 0 plus 0, 0, 1 plus 1, 0 and there is a carry here. So 1 plus 1, 0, carry here, 1 plus 1, 0, carry here, 1 plus 1, 0, carry here, 1 plus 1, 0 and carry here. 
सो कैरी इज हैपनिंग हियर राइट नाउ वी कैन से दिस एक्यूमलेटर डेटा दैट इज जीरो फोर जीरो एंड दिस जीरो जीरो वन वन मीन्स थ्री सो दिस इज वॉट एक्यूमलेटर डेटा आफ्टर दिस जीरो थ्री एक्स नाउ सी वी नीड टू एडजस्ट दैट इन टू डेसीमल बाई डा सो हियर इफ यू सी दिस बिट बाय बिट ऑपरेशन फ्रॉम दिस लोअर निब्बल कैरी इज हैपनिंग सो एज इफ फ्रॉम लोअर निब्बल कैरी इज हैपनिंग एज पर डेसीमल रूल वी नीड टू एड इट विथ सिक्स सो वी विल हैव टू एड जीरो वन वन जीरो इफ लोअर निब्बल इज हैविंग कैरी नाउ सी हायर निब्बल दैट इज इवन अ कैरी सो हियर इवन वी नीड टू एड सिक्स सो जीरो वन वन जीरो टू एडजस्ट दैट इन टू डेसीमल सो इफ यू एड दिस टू दैट विल रिजल्ट इन टू डेसीमल डेटा सो दिस इज वॉट वन प्लस जीरो जीरो वन प्लस वन जीरो कैरी वन वन प्लस वन जीरो कैरी वन इज वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो वन वन जीरो 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 सो आफ्टर डेसीमल एडजस्टमेंट दिस इज वॉट द एक्चुअल डेटा सो इफ यू सी दिस डेटा दैट इज लोअर निबल इज जीरो डबल वन जीरो मीन सिक्स एंड अपर निबल इज जीरो डबल वन जीरो दैट इज सिक्स एंड लोअर निबल इज वन ट्रिपल जीरो दैट इज एट हैक्स सो आफ्टर डेसीमल एडजस्टमेंट एक्यूमलेटर डेटा इज सिक्सटी एट हैक्स Now see this a that is what we are moving into h so h is equals to sixty eight h so after pc hl program counter is hl pair h is sixty eight so let me mention it sixty eight and l l is seventy nine so seventy nine h so program counter that is six eight seven nine hacks. so next instruction that should get fetch at this memory location which is program counter so our correct option is c that is this i hope that you have understood this question let us solve one more interesting question so it will be more clear now see 8085 microprocessor uses 2 megahertz crystal find the time taken by it to execute following delay sub routine Inclusive the call instruction in calling program. So we are dealing with to calculate total time period required to execute these instructions. And here you are given with a call instruction takes eighteen cycles of the system clock. So call instruction that is taking eighteen cycles of system clock. Push is having twelve. Conditional jump takes ten if jump is taken and if seven if it is not. All other instruction above takes three n plus one clock cycle, where n is access to memory inclusive of of code fetch. So ultimately, we need to see first of all how many t states are there per individual instruction, and then we will solve that example further. So see here, this is what call instruction, right? So call instruction that is having. 18 cycles so here i'll be writing 18 t so 18 t is there with call instruction push instruction so that is having 12 cycles so here i'm writing 12 t now see mvi 64 so there are two machine cycle which is happening and as per that we have equation that is 3n plus 1 so n is equals to 2 So, MVI A comma sixty four that will make seventy states. Now, no operation performed that is having four T states. DCR that is having even four T states. Jump if not zero that is even having jump if not zero. So that is what mentioned here. Conditional jump. That is taking ten cycles if jump is taken and seven if not. So it will take ten t states if jump is happening, and if jump is not happening, so in last case there will be seventy states. For pop instruction, 
there are three operations which is happening and as per that 3n plus 1 this will make 3 into 3 9 plus 1 10 so 10 t states will be therefore pop and the return is having even three machine cycles so as per that 3 into 3 plus 1 means 10 t states so now we have t states for all instructions now we will see that in program like how it is happening but before we execute total calculation we should know basically my <coughs> frequency microprocessor frequency that is crystal frequency divided by 2 so here crystal frequency is given 2 megahertz so microprocessor frequency that is half of this and that will be 2 megahertz divided by 2 so that is 1 megahertz and time period for 1t states so that is 1 by f microprocessor frequency and 1 by 1 megahertz that is 1 microsecond so for 1t state time period is 1 microsecond now let us see this program step by step so see here call instruction is getting executed then after push instruction is getting executed then after we have MVI A, 64 and this is what no operation and then decrement it till it is 0. So 64 in decimal 64 hacks that is equals to 100. So 100 times this loop is getting repeat. So this is what loop which is happening 100 times. Now see if you see total number of t states of this loop right so of this loop if you to calculate total t states so that is 4 plus 4 plus 10 and at last there is 7 so we need to decrement it by 3 so ultimately 18 t states are there so 100 into 18 so that will be 1800 and minus 3 and then after this instruction is getting executed that is having 20 and return that is having another 20. So total time t that is this 18 t plus 12 t plus 7 t then this loop. Now see in this loop it is 100 into 18 t minus 3 t the reason is at last it will execute on the 70 plus 20 plus 20 so 20 plus 10 t so if you calculate this 18 plus 12 plus 7 plus 1800 minus 3 plus 10 plus 10 so your calculation should be 1854 t and for one time period time period is one microsecond so this is 1854 microsecond and in terms of millisecond it will be 1.854 millisecond. So this is how we can solve this kind of questions. I hope that you have understood this question. You can definitely place your queries and you just download this material from my application. So it will take less time to write questions and to understand all those things which I teach here definitely it will consume less time if you have all those material which I teach here. Thank you so much for watching this video.